Ron, Ron, and Fez. Fez. 1027 WNEW. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. It's bad celebrity orgasm impressions. Al Dukes will be hosting this game show. Bad celebrity orgasm impressions. Al Dukes will be doing an impression of a celebrity having an orgasm. And he'll be doing this badly, by the way. You tell us what celebrity it is, we'll send you to the big-ass prize closet. All right, I'm still trying to uh, figure this one out. Uh, let's take a contestant here, 877-692-1027. Michael, Michael, you're on Iran How you doing, buddy? Hey, good. Michael, what do you do for a living? I'm in uh, promotions for magazine. Oh, nice, Fezzy. Yeah. Any uh, magazine we'd know? A big one? Uh, probably not very big, no. Okay. It's highlights. <laughs> Complete with the little panda family. Exactly. All right, so you've uh, <laughs> ever had sex with a cele- celebrity before? Uh, no, not at all. All right, so this might be difficult. This for could me. be hard, especially yeah. on the first one. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. it's kind of historic, and maybe the last. <laughs> all right, uh, we'll all listen close here and see if we can guess what uh, celebrity orgasm our own Al Dukes is doing an impression of. Oh, yeah. You make me want to scream. Oh, this feels better than when I danced with Bruce Springsteen in his Dancing in the Dark video. Yes, God, yes, right. my husband may do phone commercials, but he knows nothing about long distance. Oh, baby, call me Monica Yeller. Oh, oh. that's so stupid. Oh. Why are you giving it away so much? Call me Monica Yeller. That's a lot of clues. Oh. Idiot. If it's not Fez Watley, then it's got to be, uh, it's a Courtney Cox. There's the winning cowbell. All cowbell. right. Now, Al, <laughs> you couldn't do a Cox joke in there anywhere? No, uh, that, that never occurred to you? No, I didn't think to do that. <laughs> you really got into the part, Al Dukes. All right, that was a little too easy. And I'm comfortable. All these males sitting around. Right, let's try it again. 877-692-1027. You got another impression you can do for us, Al Dukes? Yes, I do. All right, this All might right. be the end of this game. I'm very, very uncomfortable. I literally feel like a dirty Lutheran standing here. Lutherans are not dirty. Oh, they're not? No. Okay, well, I'm learning a lot Please, of stuff. We bathe. Hmm. Steve, you're on our run of Fez. Hey, Ron, Fez, how you guys doing? Hey, Big ass card holder, 8165. Cool. Yeah, baby. All right, Steve. See if you could tell who this is. What celebrity's <laughs> orgasm is being badly impersonated here by Al Dukes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> triple H gave me the triple O. You've got me in a love lock. Oh, oh, yes. Even the Undertaker couldn't bury it this good. This is hotter than Kane in an Inferno match. Yes, yes. Pin me now. All right. Who would be saying those things <laughs> while having a big O? It wouldn't be the princess, would it? <laughs> Stephanie McMahon? There's a what a gal bell. <laughs> All right, the, uh... <laughs> Al, I think you have a future in porn. He has a fluff boy. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm reading you some feedbacks, Fuzzy. Uh, not a lot of big Al Dukes fans uh, with the new game show. I'm shocked. I'm completely shocked at that. I think he actually uh, reached Nirvana a couple times there. Check oh, that those was pants. See if they're wet again. Somebody. Al, oh, that was pretty awful. Mm-hmm. I was trying to act like a woman. You always do. <laughs> he said they were bad impressions. <laughs> oh, that's he, the whole point. He did warn us. Why don't you just call them easy impressions? <laughs> You have to give the real name, not the actress name. That's why I thought that first one was would have been a little more difficult. Mm. Right, but once you give out all the stuff that you do, literally reading her bio on the air <laughs> while you moan, who's not going to get that? 
<laughs> Everyone's a winner with Al Dukes. Except Al Dukes. Here's a Mike. Mike, you're on our run of fez. Hello, Mike. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, I heard the reason the FBI boobs didn't want to go with Billy is because she didn't want to have sex with his landlord. Oh. oh. Or a twisted sister. <laughs> a reference to Billy's first failed marriage. <sighs> You guys listen too freaking what, close. What exactly happened there, Bill? You and your <sighs> wife, you were wife swapping with your landlord. Well, it was, first of all, it wasn't my decision. She had an interest in him, and I wound up with his <laughs> ugly girlfriend. All right, so how did this all come up? Your wife says to you, I'd love to sleep with the landlord, and he'll throw you his chick. Yeah, pretty much. There was a lot of alcohol involved in it, though. Next thing I knew. Did this start with you being late with the run again? No, absolutely not. <laughs> And you had to offer up the missus to pay the bills? Uh, the missus did this totally voluntary, trust well, me. Well, we don't always. understand how it's working. It started when I was going to college at night. So I'd come home and she <laughs> wouldn't be there. And then when I were all out drinking, next thing I know, her head disappeared in his lap. And what do you say? I'm in the back going, oh, oh, what? What's, you know, it's like, what the hell is going on here? Why were you the one gagging? <laughs> well, seeing that, you gag. The guy's a pig. It As just doesn't make sense to, to the rest of us. You didn't do anything? Well, no. It's just like, hey, you know what? Let's try this. And I'm like, after the initial shock wore off, I said, well, screw it. You know, if that's going to happen, I'm going to get even. So I was like, okay. I whipped it out. And next thing you know, his girlfriend was doing me. And then we went in the house and did it on the living room floor. So this wasn't planned. It just uh, kind of all happened impromptu. Yeah, very impromptu. Impromptu on my part. I got a feeling that this, has been going, that this had been going on before that. But uh, this was the first time I was privy to it, shall we say? All right. I got a feeling these two were uh, knocking boots before that. Knocking boots. And how and how did it all end? That was the last time it ever happened? Uh, After that, you were divorced? Well, the ne last time it ever happened, I remember the next day I was all pissed off. And I was like, you know, because there's no way that was the first time that happened. And it kind of like the little light you, bulb went off of my head. She was too good at it. I, I mean, how did you figure that out? It wasn't the last, the first time it happened. It's just an instinct, you know, and then when we, the two of us would have sex, all of a sudden she's doing all these wild things she never did before. And these different, I'm like, where did like you learn this? Like different positions and stuff. And, yeah. And I was like, so okay. So he was teaching her how to do it the big girl way. Yeah. And I was like, there's something very wrong here with this, you know. And I would come home after going to college at night and she'd be still next door. And, you know, I'd be like, this is wrong. Yeah, after you know that she nailed them once, yeah. you're starting to catch on. Mm -hmm. You are sharp as a bowling ball. Look at every other man in the place laughing. Yeah, They're all laughing and cringing all at once. Well, it's nothing to laugh at. You know, I'm working a full-time job, carrying, uh, going to full-time at college at night. You know, well, I'm so, this is the part of the story I don't believe. The college education. Where were you going, Princeton? No, Nassau Community. For what? Criminal justice. And that led you to what job? Wow, look who turned, who turned good. <laughs> no, I wanted to be a cop. I had pet. I, yeah, well, it seems like you're a natural detective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I figured it out, Ron. Yeah, finally. Well, yeah, you know, when you see finally your wife... to do it in front of you for you to catch on. Well, I kind of knew before. I'm not stupid. I kind of knew. I used to, like, hang out in the doorway and listen and stuff and listen try to, to what? catch them. Moaning? Yeah, let's see what was going on. You know, when I would sneak into the house when I got home from school and stuff and try to figure out what's going on. Now, when you went to school, it was because you told your dad you could pass one grade a week and inherit the family business, right? You know that's not true. <laughs> Swan, stop looking at me, Swan. This is what uh, Billy's landlord said to him. You are one pathetic loser. So he had respect for you as well. Yeah. Well, at least he taught your wife how to do it properly. You should be happy with that. Why? Why would I be happy with that when he's now and I'm not? I'd love to know what she learned, what positions, without being too graphic. She learned to go longer than 40 seconds. <laughs> now, I was a young pup at the time. I could go for a while back then. Yeah, but only with your landlord. No, I never had sex with him. There's no more Planet Javas? What the hell is the story there? No, I haven't seen any around. Yeah, what do you mean, see around? You're our producer. You should be ordering. Not since your previous binge... Yeah, the refrigerator is emptier. Is it right side up or is it turned on? Or... Good one, Horde King. Do you think he might have a drinking problem, Horde King? Or just problems? Well, <laughs> issues more than problems. What kind of yeah. issues does he have? What's the difference? Well, problems imply like a long-term uh, standing, standing thing which needs to be resolved in many, many uh, different ways. And, and issues 
can be dealt with one at a time and a person can move on and continue with their life without having um, hey stop giving the Oreos <laughs> while these issues are being as you were saying <laughs> doctor <laughs> so you think he has issues because yes. trust me after he went nutsoid on us Friday he had a lot of issues to deal with hey, I'll give you he had a nice laundry list that seemed like a prepared speech here's to the thing now, we're people yeah. Uh, I'll, People got to eat. Let, let me give you an example of an issue. Um, the five pumps deal. Al's mentioned several mm -hmm. times that it's a compliment to the woman because it shows that he's very turned on by her. Right. Um, there's another term for it. Instead of being a compliment, we call it premature ejaculation. <laughs> right. In other words, Al, what is she supposed to get out of this other than the mm -hmm. satisfaction of you being quickly uh, excited? Right. Um, that's th that was over many years ago when I uh, did that. You never said that before. You said it even recently. That it oh. still happens. It's been a while since I've even had the opportunity. So. All right. So it still <laughs> exists. Do you think the next time you have an opportunity, it's going to be less than five? Uh, yeah, I'm well, taking under. Due to the build up. Might be. I also, I hope they're not wearing something nice. I also <laughs> know that you turned down a, a lot of uh, uh, nice uh, people. Yeah, in particular with with uh, some women. one in particular that I know of that uh, I think you're crazy, and I just was telling you that tonight. Right. Somebody told me that they're interested in you. Hard King, why does someone who doesn't seem to have a lot going for themselves get particular with their partners? <laughs> Stop being so much and acting like this guy. Well, I think if I get him to answer, I can have another cookie. Take two. This will be a long one. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I think that Al uh, does consider himself particular, and there are things which he has difficulties accepting about women because he doesn't even refer to women as women. He usually refers to them as girls. Or a horse. Or a horse, of Like the one he was drunk. But, yeah, you do say you like girls. That's true, Al. Girl, girls I never who, thought of that. That's absolutely true. Girls who are younger than you. Yeah. Um, and, much. And who are much less experienced than you. And perhaps this is a way to overcome uh, feelings of inadequacy about yourself. Because you're looking for someone who's young, who's inexperienced, who you can be, uh, you know, show, show the ropes to. A uh, person who's your age or within the, your age group. You only get to see that rope for five pumps. <laughs> Most women in my age group, though, are uh, married now. No, you never said been, that. that this you is, this said is that they were one. women. <laughs> That's the part that turned you off. It is when I even go to describe uh, a girl or a woman to someone, I, I think in my head, what am I calling this person, a girl or a woman or really? a lady? Because I, ne I don't know how to refer to women like that. A kid is a girl and a a older adolescent and up is a woman just a woman just sounds Seems easy old. enough just sounds old <laughs> what, so what's, like your, what's your definition of old woman like so, like 30 is how old are you i'll be 32 soon so you think yourself so is you're old? old no no i don't necessarily <laughs> see myself but the women yeah, are grampy now. yeah the women one foot in the grave are. i see uh, the women are definitely older at that age <clears throat> They're the same age as you. Yeah, but that's the situation. Now, just so you know. But women mature at a different rate, so a thirty-year-old woman looks older than a thirty-year-old uh, guy. You're generalizing something which isn't universally applicable. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for the most part. <laughs> Dick Clark called. He completely agrees with you. <laughs> Drop the Clark, and that completely agrees. <laughs> Two seven W N E W.